the ability to get organized and get off pen and paper or you know your whatever other simple diary method you might be using is truly business changing it allows you to scale it allows you to sleep at night <laughs> Uh, it allows you the time to focus on being you. Um, I mentioned I have a virtual assistant. Um, she's been with me for four or five years. She manages my customer diary. You know, you, you can absolutely do it yourself if you're a solopreneur, but you could actually also find yourself, if you're like so stacked out in, in clinic, Timely is a virtual system. So... My PA, who I probably physically see like twice a year, <laughs> we're on Zoom like this. Uh, she manages all of that from, you know, an hour or so away. I have an accountant that, you know, helps with my annual accounts. I can use Timely for all of that reporting and simplicity. So the business side of it, I wish I'd have had that sooner to enable the business to grow in a smoother, less clunky kind of way. Um, I think training is something I've mentioned a lot. And that is something wholeheartedly, my father instilled this in me, kid, whatever you choose to be, be the best at it. Whatever that is in life. And for me, investing in that training and that knowledge, the more knowledge you have, the better you can serve your customers going that extra mile, adding value to them, not rushing them through treatments, all, all of those things. Be, be that friend to them as well. It's building relationships. And it's something I probably started early on, and it's probably maybe what made me stand out as an individual therapist and allowed my career to grow as it has done, is having that more personal relationship with customers and acknowledging not everybody is going to be for you that is okay <laughs> there are plenty of people and therapists to go around collaboration our industry for far too long has been competitive and we're a women heavy industry and i i've always said this women are quite competitive with women and i wish i'd have had that collaboration with other businesses, with other women within the industry earlier, because where you've got collaboration, you can grow, you can tap into each other's networks and skill sets. And rather than being, oh my goodness, they're my clients, they're, this is me. Collaboration, communication with other business women within our industry, um, I wish that had been a a broader and more open conversation. And if you can do that, it's kind of, it's a bit like giving the free treatments. Some that some things can feel, oh my goodness, that feels awkward. I shouldn't be doing that. But where you open up, drop the ego and open up, collaborate. That's where the bits of magic happen.